Urban Gardening Thailand. Join me in my tropical Asian garden. Disclaimer. All parts of the Datura plant are poisonous. Grow at your own risk. In the first two videos of this series, I showed how I grew Datura seeds from fresh seed pods, and then how the seedlings grew until they flowered. And you can find these from the Datura playlist in the description below. Now I want to show you how the seed pods develop and what they looked like when I harvested them. It took a while for my Datura flowers to produce seed pods. Eventually though, I got plenty of pods. I think one of the problems is that where I live, it is extremely humid, so it is more difficult for the pollen to shake loose and pollinate the flower. It also might depend on how many pollinators you have in your area. The hawk moth is one of the primary pollinators, and I don't know if we have them here in Thailand or not. I think in most environments, you will find your plant producing lots of pods with absolutely no problem. And here is a small seed pod forming. Here they are as they grow larger. These pods are about two months old, and one has finally burst open. You can see the brown seeds inside. As it is now the rainy season, I want to remove the pod to let it dry. I don't want the seeds to get moldy or rot, so I want to remove them from the seed pod to help them dry more quickly. From the first pod, I got about 60 seeds. It only takes a few days for them to dry. Here is the second pod I harvested. I swear this is from one pod. 190 seeds plus one pod. If you are collecting seeds to grow more plants, you really only need a couple of pods and you are all set. Once the seeds are thoroughly dried, you can store them in a container and can keep them for next year's planting. I've harvested a few pods now and the number of seeds varies greatly. I think you can expect an average of about 100 with anywhere from 50 to 200 seeds per pod. These numbers might also vary with the specific variety you are growing. I wanted to test the seeds from my new pods, and here's one that just germinated. I have come full circle from finding a plant with burst seed pods, germinating the seedlings, transplanting them into pots, watching the plants flower and produce seed pods, harvesting the seeds, and finally growing the seeds from my own plant. Datura are quick growers. For me, this entire cycle took only about eight months. Plus, all of this can be done in planters if you so desire. Growing and watching these plants has been a very rewarding and satisfying experience. You can find all the videos in this series from the playlist link below. These are fun and easy plants to grow, and their huge flowers are truly impressive. Happy gardening! Be sure and check out all my gardening videos from my gardening playlist, as well as my computer tutorial videos and general interest videos. See you next time.